Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today I wanted to show you how you can select different pens and pen colours for draw. So I've got an image here and I've already separated it into layers and in the next video I'll show you how you can do that. But I wanted to show you how you can select different pens and colours. Now the machine doesn't actually know what pens or colours you're putting in. So for example, if I choose a glitter gel red and I put in a fine point green, it's not going to know the difference. But the whole point of being able to change the colours in Design Space and the pen is so that you know when it's asking for a glitter gel red that that's the colour you've selected so that's the colour you're going to put in to the machine. It just makes it easier. If I choose random colours in Design Space and I then go to make it, because the order is done by colours and not done by layers, I'm going to get very confused very quickly. And you can't actually see, when it comes up, you can't actually see what the layer is. It's just asking for a colour. So I always make sure that I select a colour and the type of pen. Now it doesn't have to be exact. For example, if we come up to the colour block and I put in the fine point pen, some of the names are very, very different. You've got things like Candy Crystal, things like Blue Bonnet, Geode, and you're not necessarily going to recognise those colours but they're blue. So I would select a blue and then I would be more specific. So when it asked me to put a blue pen in, I could then choose something like the geode, but I know that it's, it's in the blue family. Or I can be specific and select lavender and then find the lavender pen because they're all named as well. The great thing is, is that you're not just limited to fine point. If we go to the drop down menu, we've got extra fine, gels 1 mil, gels 0.8, glitter gels, markers, calligraphy 2 mil, calligraphy 2.5. So for example, if I select gel 0.8, it's going to bring up the new white opaque, the pink, the orange, the yellow, the blue. If I go to marker, it'll bring up the metallics, the gold, the black, the washable fabric pen, and the marker infusible inks, and the new watercolour markers as well. If I select glitter gel, it'll bring up all of the glitter gel colours available. If I select calligraphy 2 mil, I've got black and gold and calligraphy 2.5, I've got black and gold. There's also extra fine and gel 1 mil. So for example, if I wanted gold on this piece rather than just sticking to fine point and selecting a yellow, I could go into glitter gel and select the gold from there. I could go to marker and select one of the golds from there. Or I could go to calligraphy and select one of the golds from there. Now I don't necessarily need to select the pen that I've chosen, but I know that the color I want to use is gold. Same with the flame, rather than sticking to fine point and choosing say an orange, I could go to glitter gel and select the neon orange or I could just select orange and I know that I'm going to select an orange either from glitter gel or one of the other oranges that are within that colour scope. Rather than selecting a silver or a grey 
for my candle itself, I can now go to gel 0.8 and select the white opaque. And that's how you can change your pen type and your pen colors. As I say, the machine doesn't actually know which pen or which color you're putting in. This is really to help you so that you can design in design space using the colors and the pens you want to use. And when design space then tells you to put in a glitter gel red, you know that you're gonna select a red and most likely the glitter gel red. If you choose random colors, you're gonna really struggle when it comes and it's asking for those colors because you're not going to remember, especially if you've got lots of layers, you're not gonna remember which color you've chosen for which layer. So you want to stick as close to the pen that you're going to use and the color that you're going to use. As always, I hope this has been helpful. If you've got any comments or questions, please do leave them below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you all again very soon. Bye.